Here's my reaction to episode four, five, and six of The Last Kingdom season five. There's gonna be spoilers, so make sure you scroll if you don't wanna hear them. Forewarning, three, two, one. One of the things that kind of irked me was when Elfa wanted to make her daughter the successor for a queen. And then Ethelhelm was like, no, nah, I think I want to make my grandson king of Mercia. But then I was just like, how could that happen? Because in season four, they fought tooth and nail to get a Mercian on the throne. And your grandson is not a Mercian. So in my opinion, that wouldn't have happened anyway. But then some epic shit happens, so... You remember in season four when you were like, oh my gosh, Edward is such a pussy. Well, everything you wanted him to be in season four, he is in season five. He is so ruthless. He really is his father's son. And I feel like there are some things that he has done that actually outweighed some of the things that Alfred did that we really hated. Episode five and six were the worst. I went in the season knowing from season four that I was going to lose some of my favorite characters. But guys, I'm still not prepared. And let me just complain about Brita a little bit more just because I'm not done. She says to Prelig, I blame you. I blame all of you guys for all these things that just happened. Girlfriend, it wasn't like they came to you and, you know, willingly like just attacked you. You came to them almost every time. She doesn't take any accountability for any of the decisions that she has made. And then she says this about her daughter, like, oh, but my daughter, you know, she um, chose people to die for her because she was like a seer or something like that. I'm like, excuse you, your daughter is like eight or nine years old. You're letting a child choose the destiny of who lives and dies. The little girl climbed on top of a roof during battle, which led to her death. I mean, she's a child, Brita.